Greetings everyone, hoping this message is finding you well and safe and healthy. Uh, week three, uh, Black History Month or Our History Month, and it's time for another critical thinking exercise. This is how I'd like to set this one up. Um, I wanna tell you a story. One day, uh, my son decided to, to challenge me to a foot race to show me how fast he was. And I said, well, you know, before we, we do this race, um, I'm gonna need you to run from, from point A to point B um, as fast as you possibly can. Uh, took out a stopwatch and he ran as hard as he, he could. And I showed him his time. And then he said, you know, dad, I'm ready. And I said, well, before we do this, there, there's one more thing I want you to do. So I went to the neighbor's house, got their dog, pretty big dog. I brought the dog to the starting line and the dog's not mean, but I mean, I think he wants to eat my son. So I told my son, we're gonna run it again. So he took off and then I let the dog go. And of course he ran faster, right? But the whole time he was running, he was running as hard as he could and he was looking back, kept, kept looking back, right, for the dog. And he ran faster. That's where I'm gonna stop that story. There is a difference between running to something and running from something. And I'm not gonna do this what's better, what's worse thing, but if you've ever been running to a place and running from a place, you will know that it's just a little bit different. Running from something out of fear um, or anger or survival um, tends to uh, introduce you to another gear you have always had. You just didn't need to use it. So now, here's what I want you to think about. Everybody knows about the Underground Railroad or something about it, right? When the people were running with Harriet Tubman, do you think they were running to freedom or from slavery? Were they running to freedom or from slavery? Before you answer that though, I need you to make this personal. I want you to think about a goal you had maybe 20 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago. Now, based on the behavior of how you accomplished the goal and how long it took you to accomplish it and what you were thinking about on the journey, were you running to the goal or from where you were. I say very often, and sometimes people look at me sideways, I personally arrive at this intersection with you with the belief that positivity as the number one source of motivation is overrated. Most of us are motivated to get out of situations we're in or to never have an experience we've had. That's the motivation. If you accomplished a goal and never once had to worry about doing this, that's privilege. That's privilege. That, for me, is the difference between what happens when I cross the finish line and somebody with privilege crosses the finish line. That's the difference between how you arrived at having accomplished a goal and somebody else having arrived at accomplished a goal. Some of us are more worried about what we look like crossing the finish line. There is no drowning while pretty contest at the Olympics. There, there's not. Um, nobody cares what you look like when you're in survival mode. And when I think about Black History Month, um, explicit to the people we celebrate, then I think about what they were running from and the gear that took versus what they were running to. I arrive at this intersection with you that, well, actually, I'm not gonna tell you. I want you to think about it for yourself. When Harriet Tubman was leading my people through the Underground Railroad, were they running to freedom or from slavery? That goal that you're accomplishing or that you have in your head, are you running to it or are you running from the situation you're in? From an HR perspective, I always recommend people be a little careful about running from a job 
because you're not paying attention to the one you're running to. And you got mad about this situation and you couldn't stand it so much that anything was better than that until you got that and you didn't like that too. If you're running from a relationship, not paying attention to the one you're running to, then you start paying attention to the one you got and you're wondering if you weren't better off where you were. So here's what I want you to do with this. I want you to slow your brain down and I want you to think for a minute. I want you to think about a goal you've accomplished or a goal that you would like to accomplish. Are you running to it or are you running from something else? And if you're running from something else, you may accomplish the goal sooner. And then I need you to be okay with what you look like when you got there. Explicit to Black History Month and the black community. How do you perceive the behavior of a march or a mantra? or behavior. Do you think a community of people are running to something or behaving in a way that reflects they're running from something? So that's what I have for you. Have fun with that. I do hope this message is finding you all well and safe and healthy and patient and diligent. And of course, what is most important to me, I hope it's finding you thinking. Stay safe, everybody. See you next time.